Griff, the Senate is now in session working on the $1 trillion infrastructure bill with final passage possible in the next few days. So we're joined now by Republican Senator from Louisiana, Bill Cassidy. Senator, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Jackie, thank you for having me. So, Senator, this bill could have passed last night, but Senator Haggerty was the lone GOP senator to block it. He cited a Congressional Budget Office analysis saying it was not, in, in fact, paid for, but would add a quarter trillion dollars to the deficit. Now, you took to Twitter to clear up some misinformation around that. Can you explain? Yeah, uh, it's exactly as we predicted. CBO was going to give us credit for half our pay for as they did. There's another half that a reasonable person would look at and say, yeah, that's a pay for, uh, but they won't give us credit because of their rules. One example, Congress has already put money out there for federal unemployment insurance uh, subsidies to, to state government. About 53 billion of that will not be spent. So the Congress puts it out and we, re we repurpose that to this bill. 53 billion already allocated, repurposed. CBO doesn't give us credit, but a reasonable person would say, yeah, that's a pay for. And so we feel okay about it. One more thing to add, Penn Wharton did an analysis. CBO only scores for 10 years. Penn Wharton went out 30 years, the business school in University of Pennsylvania. Yeah. They say it decreases the deficit and increases the economy because of the long-term benefits of major infrastructure. Now, you also had to clear up some misinformation about critical race theory in this bill. You said on Twitter that equity is not a catchphrase for CRT. Uh, were you surprised you had to address that? And what does it say about how far apart the two parties are? No, I will say that people are deliberately misrepresenting the bill. There is one single line, or maybe two, maybe three, in this bill, which, which says that if you take a grant from the federal government, you cannot discriminate. And then it plugs in anti-discrimination language, which is already in federal law. Okay, so I get a grant. I'm supposed to make sure everybody has access to the Internet. Should I be allowed to discriminate? Of course not. It has nothing to do with CRT. It is um, uh, uh, something put out there, misinformation by those who should know better, in an, in an effort to decrease support for bridges, roads, flood protection, coastal restoration, and hundreds of thousands of jobs. I don't know why they're doing it. So it, at this stage, it's pretty clear that this bill will pass with Republican support, but former President Trump uh, has been threatening to primary anyone who supports it, support a primary challenger for them. He said yesterday, whether it's the House or the Senate, think twice before you approve this terrible deal. And July 28th, he said, don't do it, Republicans. Patriots will never forget. If this deal, deal happens, lots of primaries will be coming your way. So are Republicans up for re-election, being held hostage by that, and also what kind of message does that send to House Republicans who are also in cycle considering their support for this? First, let's just set the record straight. Uh, former President Trump offered a $1.5 trillion package, only 5% of what was paid for. $1.5 trillion, we're $550 billion in new spending, only 5% paid for, we've already spoken about our pay-fors. So the, obviously the question is not the pay-fors or the debt and deficit, it's that he wants his, it, it has to be his. To me, this belongs to the American people. To that person stuck in traffic in Baton Rouge, getting over the Mississippi River Bridge, or in Lake Charles, getting over the Calcasieu Ship Channel, I could list all the cities in my state. The people in New Orleans who need a sewer, new sewer system, it belongs to them. Now, good policy is good politics. Someone who votes for this can defend the fact that they are voting for good policy, for a new water system, and you name the town. And uh, I, I just like to think, Good policy is good politics. So how are the minority leaders then uh, navigating this? Are they encouraging or discouraging support in either chamber? Well, I think the fact that Mitch McConnell votes for this, he's a pretty savvy anal analyst, by the way. Um, Mr. Ducey said earlier that somehow Pelosi's gonna try and link these two. One that tells you she doesn't have the votes for the 3.5 trillion. But secondly, it also tells you that McConnell thinks it's less likely they get the $3.5 trillion if we pass this bill. I love my infrastructure bill. I hate the $3.5 trillion tax and spend extravaganza. McConnell would probably say the same thing. I think it's very important that he's made this decision. So if Speaker Pelosi does cave to pressure from moderate Democrats to take up this infrastructure deal, the bipartisan bill, as a standalone bill, uh, immediately after it goes over to the House, do you think there'll be enough Republicans in the House to cover progressives who are now threatening to block it? 
Yeah, the Problem Solvers Caucus, uh, uh, 28 Republicans, 28 Democrats, Brian Fitzpatrick, uh, Josh Gottheimer headed. They have voted as a group that they would support this bill. Those 28 Republicans voting for jobs, 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 bridges, flood protection, you name it, voting for good policy would outweigh the crazy left wing that wants to have the tax and spend extravaganza. So I think the problem solver support is critical. So some Republicans say if the GOP supports this bill, it, it does give Democrats cover to pass this social spending package that uh, you say it does the opposite, removing elements that would otherwise uh, be a vehicle for that large reconciliation package, making it tougher for Democrats to get the rest through. Uh, why don't some of your colleagues recognize that strategy? You know, everybody has to speak for themselves. But I think the best analyst of Senate politics would have to be Mitch McConnell. So, you know, you can believe me, you can believe somebody else. Uh, look at Mitch McConnell, who always has his eye on the wall. McConnell obviously thinks that if we pass this, it's less likely they pass the 3.5 trillion extravaganza. Right. I think he also thinks that the hundreds of thousands of jobs created and the waterways and the ports and the internet broadband that goes across the nation are good for the country. Good for the country? Uh, good to stop the tax and spend extravaganza? People should be voting yes. All right, we'll be watching. Senator Cassidy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Jackie. It's Griff.